With moist weather conditions and the heat starting to build in, mosquitoes are really starting to take off like crazy. In fact, I've got a couple bites from being out in the garden last night on, on my arms and on my legs. So there's a lot of things we can do to try and control the mosquitoes before they get out of control in your yard and in your neighborhood. One of my very favorite options is uh, repellent. Now we've got some repellents that work very well, very safe to use in your yard. Uh, the Mosquito Go granules are made with a cedar oil. They smell really, really good. So you can broadcast these in around plants, around your vegetables, you can broadcast around your house, put it on your lawn, anywhere where you think the mosquitoes might be coming from. And they are repelled by the smell of the cedar oil. They don't like it, so they'll just leave and go somewhere else. The granules last about uh, two weeks and they've been very, very effective. It also comes in a liquid form. Uh, this is Mosquito Beater by Bonide. They've added some citronella oil, some geranium oil, some other oils in with the cedar oil. And you can attach this right to your hose and you can spray lawn, shrubs, trees, flowers, all the way around the house, the patio area, and the mosquito beater does a great job at forcing those mosquitoes to go somewhere else. If you're going to have a party or a little barbecue or a get together, you know, put the mosquito go granules out or spray the mosquito beater the day before you're going to have your event and uh, the smell of the cedar granules or the cedar oil will force them to go somewhere else and you won't be bothered by the mosquitoes during uh, your party or your event. If you have standing water, if you've got ponds or puddles or, you know, just areas where there's there's a, a, a location where they can breed and where they can lay eggs. Then you'd want to use a product like these uh, these mosquito torpedoes. These uh, little tablets have a biological insecticide in them. The mosquito bits work the same way too. These are just little small dissolvable uh, granules that you can sprinkle into standing water, into puddles, into areas where you think the mosquitoes might be coming from. If you've got the canal out back where there's just standing water, that's where the mosquitoes are going to lay eggs and the, the new larvae are going to hatch out. Well, both of these products kill the larvae as they hatch before they turn into adult mosquitoes. And uh, they just they just sit in the water. Uh, the bits will float for a little bit and, and then dissolve, but it will, will release that insecticide into the water, especially like right on the right on the surface of the water is where that insecticide is going to sit and that's where the mosquitoes actually hatch out and that's where the larva is and it will kill that larva before it turns into an adult mosquito. So you can apply these into larger ponds and, 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 and puddles and uh, these are for smaller areas as well too. These work on, on um, fungus gnats in your plants as well too so the mosquito bits actually work really quite well on a couple different applications but this is more of a preventative way to kill the mosquito larva before they hatch out so you would use that in your yard uh, to, to kill those larva before they get going. If you want something to really knock them down say you're, you're just being inundated with mosquitoes and you don't want to try the repellent you just want to just want to kill them off the indoor outdoor this has got permethrin in it. Permethrin is very very effective on mosquitoes not only does it kill the mosquitoes it actually has a little bit of repelling properties as well too so when you spray with the with the indoor outdoor it'll knock down mosquitoes but it works on spiders ants earwigs grasshoppers works on all kinds of insects but it's very very effective on mosquitoes because it has that that repellent action to it as well and so you can you know hook this onto your hose you can use a tank sprayer there's a lot of different ways you can spray this and you would do the same thing spray the the lawn spray the shrubs spray the trees this is safe to use on fruits and vegetables so you can use this in your garden as well too and this will kill and repel mosquitoes at the same time so we've got uh, quite a few different options we've got some natural organic options we've got some biological options and we've got a safe insecticide as well too to try and stop the mosquitoes before they get out of control in your yard and uh, are, are feasting upon us and uh, hopefully we can get them stopped or prevented before that happens